guys, and welcome back to NBA 2K25. Hello, everyone. I'll take a question from you. Idan, you won tournament MVP in both the FIBA U17 World Cup and the FIBA U18 European Championship. And now you've got the Spanish U19 team on the cusp of an undefeated World Cup run. Is there anything the United States and their star player MP can do to slow you down? No. Oh. Can you elaborate on that? I have been the best player at the international level since I was 16 years old. You call MP a star, but he hasn't won anything in his real competition. He is overrated. <laughs> Those are bold words. We are going to win the championship on Friday, and everyone will see that Spain has the best young basketball players in the world. I bet. USA versus Yo, Spain, let's get it. Look at this, MP. You gonna let him talk to you like this? Man, what you want me to do, fight, buddy? <laughs> I mean, I would. What? I mean, guys like our monster, man, they always trying to get under your skin. The last thing you want to do is let them know you're upset. You know what I mean? I guess so. Nah, I don't like it. Cat too young to be that cocky. I don't know, man. He nice. He earned it. But the only way to shut down somebody like that is to stay locked in and win. Everything else is wasted energy. <laughs> you already know, if man. You see, if you say so. Oh. <laughs> you guys can fit Joe more. Oh, shit. Let's go, man. Yep. Okay. All right, buddy. Oh, we are small compared to him. Yep. Have you ever heard the Spanish national anthem? It's beautiful, one of the oldest in the world. You'll hear it tomorrow when they give us the trophy. I think you will like it. Very catchy. We may be a couple hundred years old, but I'm about to whoop that ass, bro. See you tomorrow. USA, USA. I I like this. I like this. This backstory is really good, guys. I'm. I'm enjoying this. Hey, like we've got more this year. Hey, when you guys get up there, I'll introduce you one by one, then open it up for questions. Mm -hmm. Friendly reminder, there are reporters from 27 countries in this room. So whatever you say will be heard around the world. Mm -hmm. Got you. No gotcha. yeah. right. Looks like they're ready for you. How are we feeling? Uh, I mean, I'm chilling. Relax. Wonderful. Let's get to it. I'm going to try to be a little bit more humble. Maybe we'll see. I feel like I, I get pretty fired up. Okay, gonna let my we're going to get the started with Team USA's press availability. Representing Team USA will be Tim Fielder, Brandon George, and of course, MP. MP, baby. Hi, everyone. How y'all doing? About to put a V in between those. Let's start those. with you, Edith. Edith Bauer, Sport Monatlich. I was wondering if you've had a chance to watch Spain's press conference from yesterday, specifically Ivan Almanza's comments, mm -hmm. saying... MP is overrated and hasn't won anything against real competition. Yeah, I saw it. And? He likes to talk. I like to play. <laughs> <laughs> so no thoughts at all. <laughs> like I said, I let my game do the talking. Let's go. You know, so far it says that we have the best defensive rating in this tournament. And there's no accident to that. You know, we, we focus on what really matters over here, which is winning. You know, so he can do all that talking that he wants. But we're going to win tomorrow. And that'll speak louder than any sound bite that Almanso gives you. Thank mm. you. That was a fantastic answer. All right, welcome to the U19 World Cup. Let's get it. Our last stop before the NBA, baby. Let's get it done. Very early on, it's been crystal clear that the U.S. and Spain we're a class above the rest. Both teams unbeaten so far, so we are getting the best of the best. Old Troy Bo Bolton over here. Did you guys have me cracking up the comments? Looking, you know, we're, we're looking a little clapped. I agree with you. I I've got a plan, though. I want to see some, some, you know, as we get to character customization and stuff, I want to see some uh, development, personally, professionally, all of the above. I want to just go get on him for the heck of it. Nope. Here we go. Obviously, we are... Ooh, all right. Good looks, Trev. Obviously, we aren't going to be able to guard him. He's a little bit too big for us, but... 
we can sneak over and get some help there or something at some point, it'd be nice. Wide open, baby. Yes, sir. We'll take that. We're going to get our release timing down. I think we, uh, you know, we aren't one with our jump shot yet, but we're going to get there eventually. Let me grab this board. Here we go. Let's run it, run it, run it, run it. There it is. All right. So our goal is to win this game and outscore Almanza. For one star, I think outscoring by 10 points is two stars, and then 15 points is three stars. So if we could, if we could get some points today, it's going to be good. Ooh, Almanza's taking a three. He's wet. All right. I think that's his first three points, so we're only up two right now. A bit of an aggressive play there, Trev. Here we go. Cut. Yes, sir. Good off ball movement. 60 overall, bro. I feel like I'm running through mud the entire time, so we got to get some. Uh, got to get some stuff happening. Here we go. Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. You should have got that to me earlier, but we'll take it. I'll make it anyway, baby. Woo! I thought we were gonna block him right there. I'm not gonna lie. We are. We are pretty little. You can't. You can't front on that. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a. Takes the three. <sighs> We're gonna be fine. Q one's down. We got ten points. We don't need to force anything. Let's just keep playing our game. We're, we're gonna be all right. Down low. Oh, we'll take the foul. All right. Good little fast break there. Way to get under the basket. Now let's take advantage of this. If I make it our free throws, please, dude. Our free throw release is so much quicker. You know, Brent, he has been one of the best out Little late, little early. We're going to make one out of two. Lucas has checked in for Spain. Did we just knock him down? Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. You were talking about big, huh? Oh, I thought we had a good cut right there. Give me a pick. Let me pick and pop really quick. Let's go. Almanza going to answer back. Oh, dude. Whoever's on him. Can, we, can you switch us? I know he's big, but, like, my goodness, he's not getting covered at all. Six-point game. I'm embarrassed. He just blocked me right there. Dude, he's... I, I gotta give it to him. He's actually really good, bro. <laughs> he can shoot a three ball, and he can dominate down in the paint, too. There's, there's, It's really hard to keep up with. Wide open. We better make that. Oh, my gosh. We're getting tired, dude. Ah. <laughs> I keep trying to take it on him, and it's just not happening, bro. It's just not happening. Oh, that's embarrassing. There's a good screen. Three Let's go. Little step up, step back. Pretend we're going to use the pick and be able to pop a three. All right, that's 17 points. I mean, we're, we're not having the best game of our life, but we're, we're doing all right. We're just so tired, dude. Good cut, though. Come on, finish. Let's go. Dude, our stamina bar. Look at how low this thing is already. Bro, it's he's just he he's a machine. I we we might struggle to outscore him. I'm gonna be honest. He's a beast. Check the mid range jumper. We'll take that. So good to see MP attacking with reckless abandon, just letting his game flow. Just answering back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. No. Let's go. All right. We're up by nine at the half. I'm not sure what the stats are looking like, but uh, he's. He's sunned me a couple times. I'm not gonna lie. And then back to the action here. No, we're not a we're not a huge guy. We're gonna be smart about it. We gotta get a, a you know a little bit more shifty, get a little more elusive down there. Obviously, as a 60 overall, we don't really have a lot of moves around the basket, but eventually we're gonna be able to get that close range shot up and get a little weird with it. So here we go. We got game stats here. I'm gonna be looking at uh, Almanza. He's got 14. We've got we've got 21. So we're looking uh, pretty good, actually, better than I so thought. No greater example of how global the game of Bro, he just he just eyes you in your face. What? He's just not playing defense. Whoever that is on him. Okay, we're on a bit of a cold streak here. We need something. Yeah, you just can't right here. Give up second chance opportunities again and again. And one, baby, let's go. We hadn't scored in a while, and they kept getting these crazy offensive rebounds and stuff, so we we need this. Let's convert here, Trev. Let's convert here. Slightly late, we'll take that. Beauty. Holy cow, I'm exhausted. We have tried way harder this game. Had to play way tighter defense, had to run around, use the sprint button more. We're just absolutely gassed, and bro, he is balling. 2.7 seconds. Right here. A little mid-range, yes, sir. Oh, come on, you got to make that, Trev. We'll take it, whatever, not a big deal. I'll try to, try to grab that thing. I don't know if it's the, the stamina that we're, we're missing, or it, I mean, obviously, I'm not getting perfect releases all the time, but my goodness, we are struggling. 
We're going to sit on the bench here. Coach, you going to put me back in? Bro, what? It sat me on the bench? And then it... It put them up by that much? I can't believe the goal of the game was to, to win this. And we're up by a decent amount. It takes us out. And then all of a sudden, we're down by a ton. I'm trying to help out if we need to. Shot clock at six. Lopez finds Calderon. Packs down the three ball. Calderon's got the lead up to 13 now for Spain. We're going to lose this ball game. I mean, we're down by 10. There's just not enough time left. Puts it up. Not going to make that in my face. Let's go. Get that read. Let me answer back. Pressure's on. See what we're made of. It's in and out. Yeah, it's, it, that's GG, bro. I, we're going to have to replay this. That's so frustrating. We were up, and I've got 26 points. What do you want from me? 29 points, five rebounds, three assists. Could have had some more assists. Obviously, we had to ball hog a little bit to try to have more points than him, and we, we got destroyed. All right, I'm going to have to replay this. That's so frustrating. So I'm not even joking. Our second attempt at this, I got a foul within the first, like, 45 seconds or so of the first quarter. Coach took me out, didn't put me in until the third quarter. Oh, we're getting double team. Somebody's got to be open. There it is. Uh, coach didn't put me into the third quarter, and we were down by, like, 40 points. So I uh, turned the difficulty down, and I, I took this personally. It's 73 to 29. We've got 67 points. So I think we might have made a statement here. The USA gets it done, and they win the under-19 championship. I have no idea what was happening there. Oh, that yapping. It was overrated now, man. Still you. Uh, come on, you did your thing, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, enjoy my anthem, man. I mean, to be honest, he is a dog. Like, he's, he's very, very good. In the home of the birds. The blonde kid on the end's crying, wiping his eyes. I would be too, dude. That'd be pretty cool. World champions. For under 19. It's the summer before MP's rookie season. He's been invited to an open run hosted by Jalen Brunson, but not everybody is happy he's there. It looks like we might have a new enemy in Austin Reeves. I had to mute this part of the video because I kept getting a copyright strike where it was blocking it in a lot of countries. So basically, Jalen Brunson invited us to this pickup game. He was thanking our manager for hooking him up with Justin Bieber tickets, which obviously we were chirping him about, but I'm going to be real. I have been to a few Bieber concerts. I really enjoy them. It turns out Austin Reeves is here. And a few years ago, MP had tweeted that Austin Reeves was a wannabe role player at best. And this dude was pressed over what a 16-year-old had tweeted a few years ago. So uh, basically got into a little argument, had a choice. We could choose to either try to outscore him by five points or lock him down and hold him to under six points, which is what I ended up choosing. And um, we, we told him to his face, yeah, I'm him. So let's see how this goes. All right, so we're going we're to get a win. we got to hold him to under, under five points. Ooh, this angle is, is weird, real weird. It's a little bit low. All right, we're, we're playing. It's an open run. I don't know what we're playing or how long we're playing or what, how this is going to work, but let's get it. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Try to get in underneath. Ah, let's go. Way to get big. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to change up our, our camera view. We'll go my player default for this one. I've, I've been thinking about, do I want to play my player? Like, how do I want to play it? This, I don't know if I love this. I like 2K camera a, a bit more, but it's just, it's so weird here in the pickup game. Let's go. Good D. All right. Got a fast break going. Kick it out. Ugh. This is kind of a cool angle, I guess. It's, it kind of puts you in their shoes a bit more. Oh, we can't leave them out out there. I just feel like we can see so much more of the court in the normal 2K view. Get through, get through, get through, get through. No! Oh! Let's go. Give me this ball. Oh, slice the defense right there, and then we jag the layup. <laughs> Bro, come on. We need good D, Trey. We need good D. Put everything you can into this D. Oh my God, that pick. I can't get through it. These guys are big. They also won't pass me the ball half the time, even if I'm open. Bro, they won't give me the ball. Somebody give me the ball. Nobody's giving me the ball. What is going on? This is the, the rookie life, dude. <laughs> Literally nobody's paying attention to me. Look at this. Wide open, wide open, wide open, wide open. Big shot there. 
Let's go! That's gonna put us up by two. Shoot, there's 8.9 left. We probably should have held on to that. We've got four points. Not upset at it. They're gonna go for the three, and we're gonna win this ball game. Whew! We held him to three. Looks like I might be him after all, huh? I know you're not talking like that after an open run. I don't know. It looked like you was taking it serious. You got a lot to learn, Rook. I know a little bit. And you're going to learn a lot more when these games start counting. Okay. Hey, not exactly building bridges. Ah, uh, come on, man. When you get scared of a little friendly trash talk, man. I'm just saying. Now the dude's going to be gunning for you. And you know I want all that smoke. But, man, you come a long way from that kindergarten teacher I knew in the ninth grade. And I'm still him. I just know when to dial it up a little bit. You know what I mean? All right. Find your balance. I like that. Yo, if we're going to create that dynasty that yeah. we've been dreaming of, yeah. it's going to take everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly, bro. Carrot in the stick. Yes, sir. The league ain't ready for you, man. Not by a long shot. <laughs> Playing you. All right, bro. I had a C-plus teammate, Greg, because I was spam calling for the ball. Nobody was giving it to me. It was really, really frustrating, but... Uh... We'll take it. Welcome to the city, baby. Ooh, he's got a Martin jersey on right there for Orlando. I love that. Um, wow. First time out here. We got people on a hover. Do we? I think we start with a hoverboard, right? Yeah. And then I think we want to get the, the skateboard or the, the, the go-kart. We got to go to the go-kart track at some point. I don't think we're going to focus on that right now, but uh, we should... <laughs> bro, the, the arms. Why are we so stiff? We should definitely, uh, I mean, we need to go to the mall. Dude, this is actually sick. All right, so all the stores are just on the street. There's the tattoo shop. Definitely going to be working on that. There's Pro-Am, Specs. Oh, I don't believe it. What's up, man? How you doing? We're going to check out New Balance first. I love you too, bro. I appreciate it. Let's see. We've got joggers. We've got shorts. To be honest, I don't really know what I want to go with. Like, I... Uh, do we want jeans? Do we want joggers? Do we want basketball shorts? Let's see what we've got going on in here. Pants and shorts and Nike. We've got Converse here. We could throw some chucks on. What's Alter Ego? Oh, this is like the, the crazy shop. Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm not trying to have some wizard robes. Drip Brothers. <laughs> she seems a little surprised to see us here. I mean, I don't, I don't think we need a jacket or anything. Dude, there's so, I mean, obviously we've seen all these before, but there's so many options all, all lined up here. Embellish. Definitely feel like we could do a watch or something. Oh yeah, this thing's pretty clean. The Tissot PRC 200 Chronograph. I will take that. Beautiful. How much VC? Oh, we've got 108,000 VC, so we're good to go. Yo, this is wild, bro. It's my first time being able to put a wedding ring on in the game and I'm married. I'm definitely going to be purchasing that. I also feel like maybe something on the right hand to complement the watch. The star's dope. I might do the star. If we want spiked skull. I like the star ring, to be honest. Bro, that is so sick. First time, dude, I, I personally love having a wedding ring. I like my original thought was I just wanted like a really cheap $5 silicone band off of Amazon or something like that. But bro, it it's so fun. I love clinking it on stuff. I, I've had it for like May, June, July, August, four months now or so. Yeah. I, it still excites me when I bang it on stuff. All right, let's check, take a look at specs here. Bro, look at these. All right, we're going to have to get a haircut at some point. I'm not going to do specs and stuff yet. We're going to have to fix up our face for sure. We're going to have to get a haircut. My thought was we were going to have kind of a baby face. We were going to be, you know, the, kind of a weird haircut. Uh, not weird, but just like a younger bowl cut style of thing. And then as we grow up, we improve and get better. And that's that's kind of the direction I want to go. Like, where did bro get his shorts from? Those are sick. He's got them on too. The guy going by, you didn't. You can have rollerblades in here. Like, I, I want some cool shorts. I feel like all the shorts that I'm looking at are all just so boring. I guess we could just go traditional Nike black basketball shorts. That works. Nike shorts, Nike hoodie, and some 90s. That works for me. Let's go ahead and purchase these $20,000. We'll just keep it nice and simple to Thanks start things in. off all right i mean that's that's not bad we need a haircut and we need at least like an honorary draft tattoo i see do rags i don't see where's the barber supposed to be at there's an appearance option here i guess if we e oh you just edit your hair okay <laughs> bro some of these would be so sick i'm not gonna lie uh probably clean things up nothing too crazy spiky shorts not bad i know we always rock the uh the pompadour i think we are gonna switch it up 
over time. That one wasn't bad. Tousled isn't bad. Pompadour is usually pretty nice. That's nice and clean. We're a fresh rookie. We want to make sure we're looking good. Definitely looking a little bit cleaner here. I think eventually we are going to try the face scan and stuff. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And I, I want to get tatted up as well. I always love how we have kind of a story that's evolved over the course of our uh, our series. And so we're going to kind of try to do the same thing here. I was really hoping we were going to have some new tattoos this year, but it doesn't look like we have much new. The Reaper, baby. I feel like this is kind of a, a six shoulder piece to start off with, so we can throw that on there. Is it weird to get a, a tattoo of your first team? And I feel like it's a pretty life-defining moment, though. Maybe put this, like, on the elbow. We'll we're definitely gonna have to fill this in over time, but that's kind of a nice spot for it, I guess. All right, let's get inked there as well. <laughs> the hood flapping in the wind. All right, so we're gonna go talk to Coach. We're gonna talk to the GM and Coach Tucker. Obviously kind of an exciting time here. We've been drafted by the Magic, and uh, it's our very beginning of our rookie season, so hopefully they're going to be happy with wherever our performance goes. Hopefully they're going to be able to step up, meet expectations, exceed them. Coach Tucker showed me some photos of the gym you and your manager set up. Yeah, I wanted to work on my game 24-7. Something wrong with our training facility? <laughs> doesn't have any candy in the vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any excuses. You know how it is. I do. Yeah. And that work ethic of yours is something we all love about you. Thank you. You're going to fit our culture like a glove. Well, I'm excited to be here. I feel like uh, this is a perfect place to start my career. Fantastic. Well, then why don't we talk about our goals for the season then? As a former player, I understand how important it is for an organization to clearly communicate its expectations, and I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page to start the season. Let's do it. When you make the playoffs, anything can happen. But from where we stand right now, we are looking to secure the fourth seed, get a home court advantage for the first round, and then make it out of the first oh, round. Hold on, hold on. That's it? No, I get it, MP. As a player, it is championship or bust. The but pinky ring's a bit much. As the general manager, okay. it is my job to look at the organization with clear eyes. And from where I stand, we're still a few roster moves away from legitimate title contention. Not if I take a leap, okay? okay? Nothing would make me happier. I just don't want you to think that the season is a failure if we don't win a championship. From my perspective, that wouldn't be true. This is a good, good GM. It would be a failure if we didn't make it out of the first round. And then some changes would have to be made. I see what you mean. That's fair. Great. So let's talk about how you can contribute to the success of our team. Coach Tucker is going to go through some personal goals that you need to set for the first half of the season. We've got some strong opinions on what you should focus on, but we'd like to get your input too. Okay. This is a collaboration. That's great because I have been visualizing exactly how I want my career to be. Visualizing. Yeah. Huh. You know, like meditation and manifestation, mm -hmm. that sort of thing? Well, why don't you manifest some opinions on this list of potential goals for the first half of the season? Mm -hmm. you know, let me know if anything speaks to you. You want me to just pick one? There's a lot to work on at this level. Always. And you'll do a little bit of everything, but we find that giving our players a list of uh, specific goals to work on for the first half of the season is the mm -hmm. best way to drive development. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm with it. It also allows us to give you some milestones to track your progress. We'll even highlight on our schedule some key games to use as measuring sticks. Perfect. Uh, that's that communication that you were talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. Pick a goal. Okay, so this is really interesting. Each one of these has a few key games that you've got to uh, get wins or get certain things. Like here, NBA Cup champion, you want to win. Here, you want to win. You want to outperform the top rookies in teammate grades. Some of them you need uh, outperform positional matchups, hold them to certain amounts of points, that kind of thing. And you can see we're going to earn some sort of a, uh, I guess, team badge or team thing like rapid boil, increased team chemistry earn rate. Teammates improve quicker for the first five years. Teammates start the game with takeover against rival teams. It's it's pretty cool. I like cup champion. NBA cup champion could be interesting. I like best of the best. This is just uh, playing the best teams in the league. Try to get five out of six wins. and You're going to have a boost to your outside shooting against the top five teams in the league. I feel like that's probably really, really good, and that would that would be massive to have, especially going into the playoffs. I feel like it's got to be between that and the NBA Cup champion. I'm going to say let's 
Let's do that. Cup champion, Team Kim earn rate. Not really worried about that. Let's do best of the best. We're going to beat the best of the best, coach. I want to be the best team in this league. Everything else is secondary. Whatever it takes. You're going to get a three-point bonus, Easier too. Easier said than done. I'm here to share my focus, right? That's what we're doing. It is, but I'm just letting you know this is one of the harder goals on this list. It's about taking down the best of the best. But if we are who we think we are, then we're going to have to do that anyway. We're here to win championships, right? This just underlines it and puts everything in bold. Indeed it does. I'm looking forward to seeing how you fare against the elite of the elite. And I'm looking forward to making this organization proud. I like it. It gives us some key matchups to okay. focus on. Some obviously, Fantastic. you know, games are going to be really good, really close. <laughs> oh, uh, one more thing. Yep. We got Media Day coming up. Oh, I love Media Day. It's always been fun for me as a fan, so this will be cool. Yep. Our PR director, Donna Chase, she's going to walk you through everything. She's I got to take that ring it. off. Brian, anything you want to add? Just keep working. Yeah, we'll talk more about your spot in the rotation as we get closer to the season opener. All right. Appreciate your time. Look forward to building something special here. So do we. All right. Thank you. That, that Have a good one. You star too. pinky ring is just atrocious. Also, we never even set up a blue eye color. That kind of uh, wasn't looking right. I'll be honest. We didn't really put a whole lot into our character creator to start things off. So let's see if we can fix this up a little bit. I feel like all the ears are massive. Okay, that's a little bit better there. You could have face paint, bro. Are you I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put our opponent's face paint on going forward and please if there's anything we can do please 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 take that freaking pinky ring off that, that i did not realize it was going to be that big all right we're looking a little bit better here we've got blue eyes it's all starting to make a bit more sense we could talk to don about media day and then also talk to coach about earning a spot in the starting lineup how you doing donna mp i'm donna nice to meet you so nice to meet you donna my manager tells me you're one of the best PR people in pro sports. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure Mr. Wells has the requisite experience to make that call, but I'm glad he thinks highly of me. Shall we talk media today? Yeah, let's do it. Now, this is all pretty standard fare, and I know Mr. Wells signed you up for media training over the summer, so there shouldn't be anything you can't handle. You can call him Patrick. We're not that formal with each other. If that's your preference. <laughs> it is. Wonderful. We've also secured you an interview with 2K Tip-Off Magazine. If all goes well, you will be the cover athlete for their upcoming issue. Ooh, wow. That sounds fun. It is important to note that this interview will not like be conducted by our in-house content team, which means anything you say can be published, especially if it's sensational or controversial in any way. It's noted. Our chin area is still weird. I'm going to be up front with you, MP. I'm a team employee, first and foremost. And it's my job to make sure this team is seen in the best light possible. You make the team look good, we'll be on great terms. You make the team look bad, and we will have a problem. I'm scared of but her. I have no reason to doubt your character. By all accounts, you're a responsible, smart, considerate young man. And it's because I respect you that I want to put my cards on the table. Are we clear? Crystal clear, Miss Chase. Please, call me Donna. Now, whenever you're ready, you can take that elevator to the practice facility and start your interview. No pressure whatsoever. Okay. I mean, I feel like this could go <laughs> one way or another. I'm telling you, Be careful. Best movie I've seen in the past 20 years, for oh, sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. just wanted to check it out. Definitely. Hey, hey, can I ask you uh, one last question? Of course, shoot. So you grew up in Illinois, about a couple hours outside Chicago, right? Right. And uh, I know you're too young to have watched uh, Jordan's Bulls in the moment, but I was wondering, how has his legacy affected you as you developed into the player you are today? I uh, want what MJ doesn't have, four, five, and six straight championships. MJ taught me how to get the most out of myself and my teammates. I mean... I feel like I know the one I, I should say. This one I really want to say. Let's go with Team Kim. MJ's legacy. Man. If you're a hooper from Illinois... 
that shadow that he casts, you know, it follows you everywhere. So bad, yeah. Yeah, people, you know, <laughs> they still talk about looking for the next MJ, like LeBron never happened. Still, being from Chicago, that's a pretty heavy burden trying to live up to that. It is, and it isn't, you know. I, um, I don't put pressure on myself for results. I put pressure on myself to work. If I put in as much work as possible, uh, I'll live with whatever happens. So you're not trying to one out the goat? Oh, nah, man. I'm, I'm trying to learn from him. You know, how he- That's a good Continue to good evolve answer. as a player. The other one would have been pretty rough. <laughs> taking over a game and still keeping his teammates involved. You know, do I, do I think that I have greatness? Of course. You know, but it's not about comparing myself to MJ. It's about maximizing my gifts and my talents and using them in a way that leads to us winning more games. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Winning games. And that's what I hope to do here. Kids going Nicely places. Nicely done. This is I good. Can see that media training is paying off. I was just honest, mostly. But you didn't give them any bulletin board material, okay? It shows maturity and restraint. Look, I get it. Tooting your own horn feels really good when you've earned it the way you have. But you know what? The real pros, they let their game do the talking. Uh, it's exactly what MJ we're about to do. MJ did not hold back on saying bold statements. Come but you're on. thinking MJ once he was MJ. He didn't come into the league talking like that. Okay. And you know why? because that sort of thing doesn't fly when your teammates don't know if you can back it up. All right, that makes sense. Good. I hear you, Donna. All right. I was close now on that one. take some photographs, mm -hmm. and it sounds like they're considering you for the cover. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. So, um, you got any, any advice for me? Pose in a way that reflects your public persona, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. You know a picture's worth a thousand words. Okay. Why don't you head over there now? They're all set up for you. Thank you. As Dude, always. they're really putting the pressure on here, man. I feel like we've made so many good decisions so far. We've gotten it done. Hey, P, huge fan. What's up, man? How you doing? You good. Right? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, this is what we'll be shooting today. All right. Stand yeah. right here. Right there. See some of your best poses. All right, man. Confident or aggressive? I mean, we gotta have a personality. Right there. Perfect. Great. We got what we need. I bet. Hey, do you know when uh, this issue comes out, man? Y'all don't know the exact day, but check us out on socials. It'll be there first. I bet. Right. Thanks, bro. Thank I'm not you. trying to be meek. Obviously, we we have a little bit of tenacity in there. We saw that with Austin Reeves. And we made it, baby. If I work hard, I'll live with whatever happens. A quote as we're just screaming into the abyss. Somebody else said, Snapshot Queen 21 said MP's nice and all, but I'm not sure he belongs on any magazine covers yet. Can we let the pl kid play in a game first? You know, I don't think she's wrong. So we have the heat out here. Ooh, we got some heat cheerleaders walking by. What's up, girl? Oh, sorry, I'm married. I, I got a ring on. Let's not do that, Trev. Um, yeah, heater out there. First NBA game is coming up, and we need to go into the locker room. We're going to talk to Coach about what it's going to take to become a starter on this team. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode for NBA Game 1. Catch you all later. Peace out.